Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. The Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project is a project that is looking at uh, science that will solve the energy problem and deal with radioactive nuclear waste. And uh, it is an open project and we have some important updates to come over the next day or two with our uh, Tadihako Mizuno analog experiment in California our Hutchison effect uh, uh, analysis, and our Project Atomic Phoenix. Um, but we are a little bit hamstrung at the moment. Uh, I will go into that uh, uh, in just a little bit. And the reason is this, the uh, worldwide events that are going on at the moment. And uh, today there is another 1,000, uh, sorry, 2,547 new cases in Italy with 250 deaths. Now they are just six hours drive away from where I am right now. And if you look at the responses around the world, um, firstly, it, this is not a disease that appears to be uh, choked by hot weather. And you've got uh, Qatar uh, and uh, Bahrain, I think it was, um, uh, sorry, Kuwait rather, um, with a, a large increase there. That's a 25% increase in a day. Uh, but what I will say, uh, there's both good and bad to what's happening here in the Czech Republic. I reported that there were travel restrictions put on and uh, movement restrictions. Well, those have been upped today. No one may leave or come into the Czech Republic at the moment. Uh, all the schools and any venues of any size over 30 are effectively shut. And uh, this has had the impact of... Uh, uh, causing cancellations for, in a personal way, of uh, um, accommodation bookings and uh, and also our supply for our um, takeaway, um, uh, which allows uh, myself uh, to volunteer for this project. Uh, ha ha it will essentially shut tomorrow. Uh, so 100% of our income streams uh, have died in three days. Uh, so we basically have no income that we've been able to uh, survive on uh, in order to volunteer for this project. So um, people, uh, some people thought I might have been overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Having said that, uh, I can say that I'm very, very proud, actually, of the way the Czech Republic is taking the seriousness of, of this particular virus. Uh, if you actually look for any cases, uh, any countries over 50, um, uh, and in fact, many below 50, um, uh, the Czech Republic is the only one apart from, uh, I think it is Hong Kong, I think Hong Kong, uh, who's quite advanced with this and, and had experience with SARS in the early 2000s. We are the only country that has such a ridiculously low number of extra cases in today. Um, and so you can see that these extreme measures that are being spearheaded by the Czech authorities uh, is bearing fruit. Now, people, some people are taking the approach, well, it's in the community, let's just let it burn through, or what can we do about it? Um, if you do that, you will 100% overwhelm your uh, healthcare system. You've got uh, a, a number of really serious and critical cases here in Italy. It's just a, an absolute disaster what's happening there. And I, I don't want to dwell on this, but I will say this. Uh, if you look at the United States case, uh, the flu affects about 10% in a season uh, and 0.1%. Uh, As I said, hot countries, I have family in Australia, uh, their cases are accelerating just in the same way uh, that they are in cooler climates. Uh, and uh, also in uh, Middle Eastern countries, there is this acceleration going on as well. So it doesn't seem to be um, as affected as the flu is. But also there is some uh, uh, cases of uh, people have natural immunity in the uh, population to flu, which they don't have for this particular bug. And uh, what this means is that, you know, the flu can only go so far in a season because some people have had flus in previous seasons. Some people have got, uh, you know, um, have been uh, giving, given a, a jab so that they don't get it. And so there's two points. There, there is this uh, is like the U.S. case for the, the number of population roughly that gets it. And this is the mortality rate, 0.1 percent. If we are very optimistic and we go um, or, or even just let's accept the, the uh, who's um, uh, assessment that it is around about 1%. It's 10 times more uh, um, 
uh, you know, higher mortality rate. And you, you, you only get to a stop point uh, with this bug when you've got uh, herd immunity, as you call it, uh, and that's at 80% of the population. So you've got eight times there. So what does this mean? In short, it means 80 years worth of flu uh, deaths uh, could be caused by this virus if nations and uh, individuals do not take their responsibility to the wider community seriously. What this means is, as of today, I can't personally travel to help Alan Goldwater in California. I can't go and help at the moment uh, for an indeterminate amount of time. Uh, the um, uh, the work on the uh, BN2000 and we have another project that we're announced but as I say that work is ongoing and uh, we have some uh, the, the people that are responsible for those Alan Goldwater and uh, the uh, systems uh, 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 technologist uh, who's doing an amazing job I'm going to give updates uh, hopefully over the weekends on both of those projects um, uh, and you will be able to see them here on the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project uh, YouTube site. So uh, thank you for your support. Uh, this is going to be a challenging time for, uh, for everyone. Um, but um, I hoped uh, that once uh, our situation has settled a little here, I can continue to roll out how Lena works. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.